we're sitting right now in a woolen mill, and the woolen mill has a lot to do with why Salem is here and why the fire department started um, in 1857. They, they made it known that the first community to come up with $9,000 would be the place where they would set up their woolen mill in the valley. And Salem, Lebanon, a few other communities competed, and Salem was the first one to come up with a $9,000. And so the wool industry started here in Salem with the Willamette Woolen Mill. And because of that, they needed to protect their, their investment. They'd spent this money. And so in 1857, in November, they had this gala where they installed the equipment at the, at the woolen mill. And I'm guessing at that gala is when the, when the people together decided, what are we gonna do to protect it? And one month later, they, they formed the Alert Hook and Ladder Company to protect their investment. And that was the beginnings of Salem Fire Department. And it wasn't much more than just a bucket brigade. Uh, you couldn't fight much with it. And, and eventually the, the building did burn down, the mill did burn down, as did our grist mill, our lumber mill. But the fire department uh, started to evolve. We, uh, when Portland went to steam, uh, they had an extra hand pumper. So they put it, they sold it to Salem, they put it on, on a stern wheeler and they ran the stern wheeler up the Willamette River, and that's where we got our first hand pumper. And we still have it today over at Station 5. It was built by Hunman, who apprenticed under Paul Revere in a, as a coppersmith. And he built the, the pressure dome for, the, for our hand pumper. And uh, so we went from, from bucket brigade to a hand pumper, and we uh, also needed to get water, so we created cisterns in the city, wooden boxes in the ground that they filled with water. And we could use that then to, to put a hose from the hand pumper down and pump water out of the cistern into the leather fire hose and fight fire. It was limited in a lot of work. And you had to, you could only, you had to put the fire engine at the cistern. And so the fire hose only stretched so far. So the next big innovation from there was we, we upgraded from the hand pumper to a steam fire engine and we also created a wooden water main system in the city so we could bring water to the building so that we could hook up the steam fire engine to a hydrant near the building and then pump water and with that steam engine came the need for someone to have the expertise to run uh, a steam pump and that was that required an engineer and that's why uh, Salem eventually became a paid department because we needed to have uh, a steam qualified operator. And so we went from roughly 220 firefighters in the hand pulled, hand pump days to 14. Yeah, so it was just, it was, it was we, we, we really went down in, in, in the number of people that we had in the fire station. Uh, but it, 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 when you didn't have to hand pump the pumps, the pumps would take, uh, Roughly, to have 60 men in a, in a fire company with a hand-pumped fire, fire station, you'd take uh, two groups of 12 to, 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 to trade off and on, pumping the pump, and then a few people to, to run the hose. And so when, you, when you've got a, a steam engine, that's 24 of those people pumping that you don't need anymore because the steam engine uh, creates the, the, uh, the steam.